Okay, we're here at Camp Papa Legba, uh, the camp that uh, Larry Harvey uh, says he didn't like because he didn't like cell phones on the playa. So this is like the inside nerve center, right? And and here we have Donald. I'm uh, I'm part of the team that's uh, working on the Open BTS project for this. And, and it was deployed in the South Pacific. Yes, on a small Pacific island called Niue, uh -huh. which is close to, I believe, New Zealand, right? Yeah, it's close to New Zealand. It's uh, close to New Zealand, close to Samoa, actually. Hi, I'm Ed Nixon.com. Do you have a burner name? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, we need to get you one. Uh, some people go by, give me, but some you'll people see. want it. The, shirt, the yeah. shirt is the answer to that question. There you go. The Rock of Polynesia. Yes, it is. It's uh -huh. just a big coral rock. Oh, it is a rock. I yeah. thought that was a radio station. <laughs> Anyway, so over here is, is like, uh, I see you're running a couple of MacBook Pros. That's correct. And, and they're running Asterisk? Uh, the one in the center, actually, yeah. Asterisk. One, one on the left is not really part of the system. Uh-huh. one in the middle running Asterisk, just kind of the central hub for the two uh, base stations. Yeah. To talk to each other, so. Okay. And, and there's the uh, call letters for the, uh, the license. That's... Uh, that's actually the, the letters from last year. Okay. Um, we didn't print them out this year. <laughs> All right, so that's... But they're very, it's WD9 something, something, something. Yes, it has the X for experimental. Right, right. And last year was not as successful as this year, I'd say. It's been really successful. Yeah, this year's year worked great. Yeah. Um, we had some power problems and a lot of cable issues. We managed, managed to overcome all the problems. Including USB cables. USB cables going bad, which is amazing because I've never seen that. How much do you, I guess you depend. I see there's a Netgear hub yeah. blinking away. Yeah, so the, the two base stations talk, you know, the base have Ethernet. Uh, yeah. So. And they go into there and then there's also a Wi Fi antenna outside that goes in the way. the outside world. Now, I'm like an old world radio guy with like FM and TV transmitters, right. so I was interested in the RF front end of it. Okay. Go outside. Look. Uh, well, I can show you the board actually. The board? Yeah, this, is this is the whole RF. This is all the analog. Uh huh. It's um, it's a derivative of the USRP. So uh, all the analog stuffs in here shielded up, but filters. And most of the filtering is done here. And then we got A to D, D to A converters and FPGA. And it spits out the time stamped uh, I and Q data via USB. So that's that's the radio, basically. And in, in this kind of radio, what kind of, is that like uh, a watt or what? Uh, this thing spits out uh, one milliwatt. We do have a power amplifier. Ah. That's All the right. kind of stuff you put That's on what stuff. I'm okay. talking about, yeah. So that's like the exciter in the old world of radio. Yeah, yeah. So this thing this basically spits out a baseband. So this spits out the waveform at 900 megahertz, like at one watt, uh -huh. one milliwatt. And then... There's the tower. It's a 90 foot tower? 80. 80 foot tower? Yeah. Quite something. We usually have a mini ITX board, it crapped out on us today, so I just, I'm using the laptop down here. Substitute for the mini ITX board. A mini ITX board? Yeah, it's a major computer about that big. Mm -hmm. so, and, and what do you run on the laptop? Uh, Ubuntu 9, that's where all the uh, Linux, Linux, Ubuntu. Right. And that's uh, where all the, all the signal processing is done on the uh, computer. Uh -huh. so, no, so we don't really do much on it. So there's a radio, and then on the back side of it, if I can turn this over without breaking it. Pretty standard, standard stuff. So there's your power amplifier. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So what's that rated at? Uh, it's 40 dB that goes up to 10 watts. Okay. And filters, and right. we're on the 850 band, right? Right, right. sorry, 850 band. So this is a this is a receive filter, uh -huh. cavity filter. And this is a duplexer to give us the transmit and receive isolation that we need. And we have an LNA down here, but we're not using it, so we don't need to. The radio has one in it. I 
can't see, so it'd be redundant, really. Yeah. yeah. Last year we thought you know, we needed it, but uh, turns out we don't really need it. We got nothing ready. And up there, the antenna. We should get away from the noise of this thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, help put that back together. I don't know. Two uh, sectorized antennas. Each one has a 120 degree gain width. And I pointed it down slightly so, so you can get the, close to the city. So, is that a, a, the flag up there? Uh, the, the yellow flag is the flag of Niwe. That's the Niwe flag, that okay. That's the Niwe flag. Um, obviously, that's a, the lower one's a flag from Denmark, and the blue one has something to do with Mexico and our tower crew. I, I, don't know. I see. Well, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the exact details of it. <laughs> and Denmark? Yeah, uh, one of the guys in our camp's from Denmark. Oh, uh, yeah, I think he was here yeah. uh, when I came back. He's, a, he's from, kind of our asterisk expert for this. Ah, uh, got it, yeah. So, so the the conflagration that ended up here was people from Denmark. Denmark, Mexico, and a bunch of Californians. Yes, right. <laughs> and, and you got this tower, and there's a dish for the Wi-Fi. Right. The center cap, which are, are you connected to the public knock tower? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I've been using that too. It's great. So. Wow. So that's it. That's the report from Camp Papa Legra. About the end of it, say how you doing. Hi. <laughs> At Burning Man. How you doing, everybody? 2009.